So it's a lovely wet day yet again, and me and Aaron are off to another abandoned place. I might have to make Monday's videos into abandoned exploration videos, because that's the way it's going at the minute. But we're really enjoying it, and so are you guys by the looks of the views. So yeah, today we're going to check out an old mill, um, an old mill, an old factory, that sort, sort of thing. And it looks pretty cool from the pictures that we've seen, and the uh, location details look pretty cool. So, let's go pick up Aaron and see what this place is really like. So we've made it, this is the building here, you can't really see it, it's very overgrown, but the access is pretty simple from the looks of it. There is a lot of flies though, so they could be a bit annoying, but let's go check it out. <laughs> so we're in here. Um, it's a massive room. Well, this so many noises. It's sort of freaky. I'm not going to lie. What's that tapping? Anyways, yeah. So, uh, we're in this massive area with Aaron, obviously. Um, yeah, we just came in here. There's a door that's just fallen over. So, we just walked in here and we're in. So, let's get exploring. So, this place is pretty crazy. Like... It's very cool, but there's a lot of weird noises. I mean, I think it's just animals, but like they're in the ceiling, it sounds creepy. Yeah, yeah it's just birds or something, but it's still, it's pretty freaky. Um, we're gonna head in here next. There's an office, which could be cool for some photographs. So I'm gonna get my camera now and we'll carry on. So we've came into like the, I'm guessing it's like the main office. Um, and there's so much stuff here. It's like, like all the paperwork's still here and certificates and sponsorship certificate things. And wow, is this your jacket down here? No. So there's somebody's jacket here as well. That's pretty creepy. Floppy disks as well. Let me just focus on that. Most of you guys won't even know what a floppy disk is. Let's pick one up. Let's have a look. This is a Windows 95 boot disk. These things held pretty much next to no storage. I mean, nowadays you can get terabytes of storage, but these things were kilobytes, megabytes at best. There's also a letter here dated 27th of September, 1995. That is literally one month after I was born. <laughs> that is crazy. So I feel like now is as good a time as any to give you a little bit of history about the place that we're in. So as you can see, it's clearly been abandoned and left for a very long time. Um, so basically, the Thompson family ran this business of waste paper recycling, and they started it in 1883. In 1900, they moved to this place, uh, which is just outside Penrith in the, uh, in the UK. As the years went by, the company have been changing their products and their services and what they offer. In 1997, they spent £600,000 on resources and maintaining the business. But in 1998, they made a loss of £260,000. And this place, this factory and mill, finally closed in 2003. Since then, it's just been completely forgotten about, just left and just left to rot, really. Left to nature's own decay. And explorers like ourselves come here, check it out, and there's quite a lot of cool photographs online. That's how we found out about the place. So we thought we would come here ourselves and get some really cool pictures. Aaron's doing some HDRs today. It's his first day doing the HDR technique. So just getting some cool shots of this weight is it weighing machine yeah and then we're going down there so we just found another cool office but unfortunately the floorboards inside are very soft and there's holes so we can't exactly go in because if one of us falls down that'll be a disaster 
but uh, if I just put my hand in, you can see what's in here. There's a huge set of drawers, table with stuff just left there, files, and the roof is caved in there, and an old castle. So yeah, I'm not going to risk it, are we? It's not worth it. Wow, this is a cool little locker room in here. I'm going to have a look, but I'm going to move this little table thing out to here first so I can get in properly. So there's nothing in these lockers, these first two, but there is like stickers on them. It's like, is that ABBA? Yeah, I think that's ABBA there, as you can see. Yeah, there's ABBA. Home Alone stickers on here. They're cool. There's also some boots and gloves as well, which is pretty freaky. So let's carry on looking. See if any of these have anything in. This floor is pretty shaky. I don't like that. What's that in there? Wow. That's cool, man. That is cool. So crazy that this was once like a really active work environment and you know, the people running about doing work and making money and now it's just forgotten, rotting away and just collapsing. The floorboards in some of these places are pretty non-existent. I mean, we've walked around a few places in this building and it's been really unsafe on our feet. So yeah, we're, uh, we're having to tread carefully. It's, uh, it's, it's probably the most unsafe building we've been in, but we're assessing it as we go. So we're not taking too many risks. So everything is a-okay. Now, guys, I apologize if I'm incorrect, but there's this big vat thing here. Don't know if that's the right word, but I'm going to go with it. Let's roll with it. Yeah, it's uh, likely where they were brewing and mixing chemicals and doing all sorts of stuff. And, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, there is, um, there's quite a few chemicals leaked around the building, which <laughs> they smell pretty funky. But yeah, these uh, chemicals that are on the floor stink. I'll show you a shot of one in a minute. It's just, it just rank. So this is the stuff that smells really, really bad. Oh. <laughs> if you get too close to that, that literally is like, it's like acid to you. It's minging. So we're near where we started. We started through this door. Got to be really careful because there's massive, massive holes in the floor. And we came through that door over there. I mean, as you can see, these aren't that bad, but I wouldn't want to fall down there. And what we're interested in, this is the exciting part, guys. These stairs down here, I mean. But yeah, I'm guessing this is where I'd say most of the uh, mechanical work and the production took place because, I mean, look at those massive, massive units of machinery. So, yeah, we just come down here, which is the bit I showed you before. And it looks like underneath where the machines are. And it's, I don't know if you can tell from here, but it's all, it's underwater. Like two foot of water. So, I mean, we're not exactly going to go down there, but you can kind of see, I'll put it down here. What's down there? It's just the base work, so the mechanics. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not a hidden base or anything. So we came outside and we have found an old petrol pump. But yeah, Aaron just said this um, petrol pump looks quite American, Route 66 type thing. He's right, it does, um, it, do, it does look American style. It's pretty cool. So we came down to the bottom of the factory now and we're going in here. It doesn't look that bad. It looks like it's still used, but I mean, it's not. It's been left for 13 years now, but this place is... It's like a little lad pad, it's crazy. So there's also, I'm not gonna show you uh, too much, but there is actually porn magazines from the 90s in here, which is uh, pretty odd to find. So I'm just out here getting a bit of air because we were in this sort of basement bunker type of area of the factory and the, the gas or the chemicals or whatever is really rather strong so we don't really want to stay in there too long i still want to get the pictures that i want um so i will get them but it's going to require going in getting the shot and getting out because once you go in there the strong smell of chemicals it really does play on your throat a bit so yeah that's one of the things you need to be careful of when you're exploring these places we're assessing it we are keeping an eye on it we're getting in there getting out and getting the job done 
found out where the smell's coming from. It's coming from this pool of like smelly crap. It's just vile. It's disgusting. So I'm getting away from that. And we're going to go around there where it's a bit more well ventilated. Just getting a nice picture there. Camera off. Close the legs of the tripod. There we go. And then we're on our way. So I was just setting up here to do a, a silhouette shot. And I noticed something out the window. Train tracks. Now, I don't know if they are currently in use. I'm going to try and get out and have a little look. But they are pretty cool. Yes, I can't really get to it. But... It does look, it could have been either used for when they were moving heavy stuff back, back when this place was running, or it could still be a, a working train track, but I can't really, can't really tell. So I'm just getting the last sort of few shots. And then I think we've covered everything really. Um, we don't really want to stay down here too long. Uh, the, the gases and the chemicals are just a bit, a bit too strong and a bit too dangerous to be hanging around down here too much. So yeah, get these last few shots and then I think we're pretty much done and then, yeah, another place explored. So another one done and Aaron just said it's raining. So that's, that's nice. So we've just finished. We've got all the gear packed up into the car. This was the place that we checked out. Huge place, way bigger than, well, what I thought it was gonna be. In terms of how interesting it was, for me, it was probably the most interesting we've been to. Um, simply because of all the things that were in there. You know, you had the football card, you had the old sheets and documents. Um, just everything was still left there. Whereas in the other places we've been to, they've pretty much just been empty shells of buildings. Whereas this one has had quite a lot of stuff in it. There's, there was scary noises, there was a lot of pigeons. Um, and the chemicals were really bad in there, so yeah, it's something you have to watch out for, but what did you think of it? As you said, it was, I'd say it was the best so far. We haven't been somewhere, like we've been to a World War II factory, we've been to all these different places where, I mean, it's pretty much empty. These rooms are full of old stuff, like files, it's incredible. And it's just so big as well, like we go into a building and think, right, that's it. And then we look for a corner and there'll just be more, like incredible. But yeah, yeah overall, good visit. Yeah, it was a huge place and we got a lot of photographs each. We've both taken different photographs. You can check them all out, all of the photographs at our Instagram pages and at the website, which is linked below. It's offlimitsexploration.wordpress.com. Aaron is also going to be writing a blog. Is that right? It will probably be a lot longer than the Eddingham one, so expect to better read more pictures, hopefully. Yeah, so, so it will probably go live on Monday at the same time as the video, so go check that out have a full read through of what the place was like and stuff that you can't really tell from the video and the photos. But I think that's it from us. We're yeah. gonna go get some food. Another one ticked off the list. Until next time. Be sure to check out our other social media platforms. The Twitter, which is at Off Limits Urbex. The Instagram, which is Off Limits Exploration. The Facebook, which is also Off Limits Exploration. But give us a like, a follow, and just enjoy our social media platforms, because that's why we've made them for you all to enjoy and to send us your own stuff. So make sure you do that, guys. We'll catch you next time. Peace.